2023 Chevrolet Corvette Convertible First Test, 70 Years of Fun in the Sun. Driving the 2023 Chevrolet Corvette Convertible through the Mojave Desert in triple-digit heat was far from ideal top-down cruising, even with the AC and ventilated seats on full blast. But with a flick of a switch on the driver's side door, the VET drop top shielded us from the punishing heat in just 16 seconds. This near instant access to, or cover from, the sun is obviously the convertible's main draw over the Corvette Coupe, which has a totally rad and removable roof panel that nevertheless can be somewhat of a hassle to remove and stow in the trunk. Why it's important? Chevrolet launched the Corvette in 1953 as a convertible, and the body style has remained core to the sports car's identity ever since. And while previous generations sported soft tops, the 8th Gen C8 Corvette breaks with tradition with a new, power retractable two piece hardtop that neatly folds over the engine bay without taking up precious trunk space. The 2023 Corvette convertible starts at $73,395 which equates to a $7,500 price jump from the base 1LT coupe. The drop-top subcharge drops to $7,000 for the mid-level 2LT and top 3LT trims. Our 3LT test car rang in at $96,220 thanks to a front nose lift system, performance exhaust, and a 70th anniversary special edition package that most notably includes cosmetic touches, a set of travel bags, and forged aluminum wheels. Cheap it ain't. But there's no denying the Corvette convertible is an impressive bargain once you head over to Porsche's configurator and discover a similarly equipped 911 Carrera S Cabriolet will set you back at least $145,000. And not only will you get more creature comforts with the Chevy, you'll also get more power. The mid-mounted 6.2-liter V8 delivers 495 horsepower and 470 lb-ft of torque to the rear wheels via an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. Pros, what we like. If memories of the notoriously squeaky and rattly C5 or C6 Corvette convertibles still haunt you, we're confident you'll find solace in the C8. This is a supremely solid car. And quiet in operation, too, with tolerable wind noise whether the top is up or down. Our test car wasn't equipped with the excellent magnetic dampers, but overall ride quality was still smooth and impressive. The GT2 seats, which look thin and uncomfortable at first glance, are quite supportive and comfortable enough for a road trip. Chevy promised the convertible wouldn't weigh much more than the coupe, and it was right, at 3,695 pounds, our test car was just 73 pounds heftier than a comparable C8 Corvette 3LT coupe we previously tested. Chevy's efforts to keep weight down paid off in our straight-line test where the drop-top C8 Corvette ran to 60 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds and reached the quarter-mile mark in 11.6 seconds at 120.3 miles per hour. That's on par with our results of a C8 coupe, without the Z51 performance package, that posted the same 0 to 60 miles per hour time but was just a bit quicker and faster through the quarter, 11.5 seconds at 121.9 miles per hour. We have yet to test a current Porsche 911 Carrera S Cabriolet, but the coupe version we got our hands on notched 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and the quarter mile in 11.2 seconds at 124.3 miles per hour. We should note that this Porsche was equipped with the Sport Chrono package, which the automaker claims shaves 0.2 second from the 0 to 60 miles per hour time. Porsche also says the Cabriolet is about 0.2 seconds slower than the coupe. So based on those numbers, the Corvette would theoretically be the quicker of the two by just a hair. Cons, what we don't like. It was a mixed bag out on our figure eight course, where road test editor Chris Walton praised the strong engine and quick gearbox but knocked the stubborn understeer during limit handling. The Michelin Pilot Sport all-season performance tires were the likely culprits. Granted, 0.96 g of lateral acceleration isn't bad, but not as impressive as 1.04 g achieved by a C8 coupe sporting grippier Michelin Pilot Sport 4S rubber. Not surprisingly, braking also didn't feel as sharp. And while we're glad the folding top doesn't diminish trunk space, Chevy made space by slightly raising the rear deck lid. Unfortunately, this does cut into rearward visibility, which was already barely acceptable in the coupe. 
Visually, the convertible's hard side profile doesn't look much different from the coupe's, but the higher deck is somewhat noticeable at other angles from the rear. The bottom line. Convertibles are a dying breed in America, so kudos to Chevy for sticking with tradition and developing a hardtop C8 Corvette with very few compromises. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.